Miss Wakesho here and today I want to talk about my favorite um, well probably my personal must-have Kenyan products because as you know I don't live in Kenya so I make sure I collect <laughs> a number of things before I leave this is what I'll be talking to you guys about today and yeah this whole week guys I've just been listening to Kenyan music hashtag play Kenyan music before we start um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel um, it'll be somewhere down here when you were, depending on where you're watching uh, please do subscribe join the fam um, I have some nice awesome different content for you guys and I hope you enjoy so yeah let's get into this video we are going to start with food items because <laughs> yeah everybody likes food <laughs> so um my uh first thing that i take ever since i was in varsity guys royco royco is your best friend your go-to your every day but yeah so i get the i take the royco um this beef and the chicken one so at least like how i have a taste of home i know it say has um a huge variety of spices and stuff but this makes me feel like you know just that little piece of home and yeah so I mean if you're a diaspora and <laughs> this is also like your go-to plug but yeah let, let me know in the comments below because Royco is essential though I mean like yeah 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 I like it and yeah this is one of the things I cannot leave the country without <laughs> these packets it's called um, Shalima, have you guys tried these? Um, it's like um, Indian spices, um, so yeah, it's authentic Indian spices. Let's see if I can zoom in right there, please. Yes, I think we did that. So it's like authentic um, um, Indian spices, and they come in like different flavors. So I just wanted to try. Okay, obviously the because I'm trying to expand my palate, guys. I'm not really a foodie or into cooking like that but i'm like oh let me try this um shish kebab let me try okay chicken i mean i mean chicken is your go-to i mean everybody cooks chicken so i might as well try this um jera chicken i think I've, I've tasted this one before my mom's cooked it at home it's quite it's pretty nice it's pretty nice and also this prawns piri piri i've not tried it um and I want to see what <clears throat> dishes I can come up with so I can at least expand my, you know, food palette. I just don't cook the usual, you know, fish, guys. I'm trying to, oh, and it's actually, guys, it's actually made in Kenya. So, and I really like, I really like the chicken um, one. So I'm sure this um, shish kebab and the prawns um, piri piri is going to be nice. But if you've tried this, let me know, let me know how they are. Let me know how, what you think about about it and if you haven't go tr go try them out i mean something different whether this is not sponsored at all lol but if you want to sponsor me it's fine <laughs> um this coconut cream powder Whoop. coconut cream powder guys this um put it in my rice and i put it in beans you know when you cook that um coconut beans with coconut yeah it's really good it's really good um for things like that so i was like you know what let me and i don't think i've seen these in essay like all the products i've talked about i don't think i've really seen in essay because we established that one is made in kenya even this one like so people actually send for this even my mother mother-in-law sometimes sends me for these and they're really good i mean they make your rice have nice flavor you know it's nice to add a little bit of spice and flavor in your food so yeah i definitely had to get this these i usually get all the time um if you live in an african household this is was cardamons <laughs> as you can see it's been i hope you can see, it's been cancelled by my mother i'm from the coast for those of you who don't know and um you know we cook pilau biryani you know all these dishes and I sometimes okay I know how to do this but it's usually such a long process so my mom oh 
shout out to you mommy actually blends um the biryani spices for me and puts them in like little um thing is like this for me to carry thank you so much mommy thank you i know you're gonna watch this but yeah so she usually <laughs> she usually like blends for me like picks out you know the cardamom all the things and literally puts it for me in one um like blends it up together and puts for me in like these little things for me to carry and i never actually leave home ever since i've known how to make biryani i've actually never left home with one of these she's always <laughs> she always got me <laughs> So yeah, so this is one, I mean, if you live in an African household, people always recycle stuff. And I mean, this is to my benefit now. So I am definitely, this is one thing that I love and never, never um, not carry. <laughs> I don't take milk, especially here, because it makes me break out, it makes my skin break out. And because of that, um, I use um, non-dairy creamer. But now the challenge is I have not found any non-dairy creamer in south africa if you're watching this and you're a south african sabi please let a sister know where i can get this non-dairy creamer because now I, I i calculated with the next time someone's going to come i realized my creamer is going to finish so please let me know in the comments below where i can get it please let's let's just share in this community please yeah so this is a non-dairy creamer it's just an ordinary one i pick any basically but um ever since i, I realized um that uh, milk affects me um i really don't take that much i, I won't say i've cancelled it out of my routine but i don't take milk tea i don't take cocoa even anything i take i take with the creamer um but i take ice cream you know just the normal stuff but i don't overdo the milk basically so yeah i really need this so if you know anyone can get it hook a sister up let us know okay yeah so this is very essential to me this can taste coconut oil virgin coconut oil guys this i use it for everything i use it for cooking so i usually take maybe two of these two or three of these so i separate I, I leave one in the kitchen i have one in the bedroom um one for my hair you know hair and face and everything and then that one is for cooking primarily um guys kentis i have been mentioning this ever since the beginning of my channel but this is a legit product as in ever since i started using it i have not stopped in the cooking section with my hair it helps me so much with my skin that's what i use to moisturize and a bit of um palmas cocoa butter but that's that's it that's it like i don't use any other um, lotion products or anything so this is my go-to i cannot leave nairobi without this but if it finishes i know where to get um virgin coconut oil but obviously it's not it's not as affordable as the Nairobi one so I try and take maybe two or three and push it until maybe someone comes or someone someone I ask for more somehow but yeah this is definitely a legit product and I cannot leave Nairobi or Kenya without it rose water um, so I usually mix this and this thing from Alison guys it's so affordable like it's 70 bob i think or 80 less than 100 bob but this thing does wonder okay personally for me i mix it with apple cider vinegar and um so i create a toner with it after i wash and everything i put this as i use this as a toner and it really works for me and it has I, i'm i'm okay i'm not complaining and because of that I usually make sure I get at least one or two of these. This is one of my favorite um, Kenyan products and I never leave the country without this. Tony Arrow, the leave-in treatment for um, Siri. Um, my mom got this for me, I think the last time she came during the time of my wedding and I was like, wow, this product is actually legit and it's working for my hair. It's a living moisturizing treatment. Sometimes I don't like doing the whole full treatment, you know, and you chill with it and then remove it and then wash it again. So this is actually a go-to um, living treatment and it actually works out for me. And yeah, so I topped up when I went last 
last or oh, this December I actually topped up on this and it's actually a legit product guys what what do you guys think about this the Siri um uh, okay have you guys tried any of these Siri brands what should, do you guys think about them but for me this is the only one I have and it really works out for me so yes <laughs> I went to um, Peperuka Kenya um, it's a shop that has what uh, these Kenyan things so um, uh, I went actually in search of a t-shirt for my husband. Um, I wanted him to <laughs> have those ones. Utajua hauji. I wanted him to wear utajua hauji. But he wouldn't understand that really. But yeah, I, I went in search for a t-shirt, even for myself. But um, when I got there, unfortunately, they, they were kind of like out of stock. So what I bought, because I, I told myself I'm not going to go all the way and not get something. So I got this fridge magnets. So this one says highs <laughs> and then at the bottom it says hi too guys <laughs> and actually didn't notice this until my Kenyan friend came I'm like guy this one is written highs and then she's like hi too <laughs> so we had a laugh about it um, and then this one is written me I love Kenya because yes you gotta be patriotic anyway I like this and in this so next time i think i'm gonna get a, a t-shirt or something written you know one of these oh i wanted those cups um you remember those old school cups not these mugs like the old school like almost tin cups i really wanted that i mean just cause not not because i was gonna like use it as my go-to but i really wanted that so they have quite amazing stuff um they, but unfortunately the things that they had um, were not either my size or my husband's size so I couldn't get anything but I told myself I'm not gonna leave without this so at least this gives me like it's like a taste of home and it gives me like you know that oh at least I know every time I walk into the kitchen I have this and it always reminds me of home lastly I had to leave her for last <laughs> Joanna girl <laughs> Joanna age first of all I have beat myself and made sure I use this palette for my eyes your girl needs to zoom for this one guys look at that oh guys this palette is like so awesome I have to yeah come closer for you to see my face bit yes guys so um I, I obviously when i went home i think it was around the time that she was launching and i told myself i could not leave without this and um i tried it and girl and actually what also helped me because i'm not so good in makeup and you know applying guys this is the first time i'm wearing lashes if you're in this channel apart apart from my wedding though because no, that one was installed for me if you have been in this channel you know guys you know <laughs> let me come closer guys even lashes i i couldn't i couldn't you know what i couldn't play games with this palette no i just i just couldn't so i made sure i went got lashes guys it took me an hour it took me an hour but you know what i did it i did it and uh so i was like this look or this palette i need to showcase it in a way that you know at least i still look nice and joanna if you ever watch this gosh <clears throat> what do you think about my face beat did i try so i'm using yeah so my eyes is all joanna k darling it is all joanna k <laughs> So yeah, um, this is, for those of you who don't know, she is a, a Kenyan um, content creator who has now started her own makeup line and I am all for this. I am all for, you know, people going out there and starting their own thing and the colors are beautiful, oh girl, they are beautiful. Like this is a beautiful, versatile palette um i used it i loved it it does have a fair amount of um, fallout but that doesn't bother me um so long as like the color payout is good i mean i feel like it's value for money so i just had to i just had to congratulations joanna this is amazing that is it for my must-have products from kenya i hope 
I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it was just something short and fun. And if you're a diaspora re eh, reading, wait, living out there, um, let me know what what are your go-to, what are things that you carry from home. I know some people I've had of some people who even carry like unga for ugali. Um, yeah, so let me know where you guys are based if you're where you're watching this from if you're watching this from nairobi do you guys have this is it like your go-to in your kitchen is it your go-to for hair because i combined everything because it's just things that i like and things that are have you tried any of these products please let me know down below and yeah thank you so much for watching i will see you guys next time don't forget to share like and subscribe i'm gonna see you guys bye take care have an amazing week